The doctor was standing in the window alcove. In his hands, he held one of Holmes's files. I recognized him at once as the man in the library with whom I had briefly conversed. Hmm. I will trouble you to put down that file. It wasn't Spink, you know. What? The terrible murder of the Atkinson brothers. Spink was innocent. The man robbed the world of justice by taking his own life. The case was simple, the solution obvious. Ah, but did you take into account the significant delay in the onset of rigor mortis in tropical climes? Holmes's face suffused with fury. I thought he was going to throw our visitor bodily through the window. Then, a strange thing happened. I... I see from your appearance that you... Your cuffs suggest... <laughs> that soil on your gaiter. I do not recognise it. Ah, a slurry of mud from Minaxus. Minaxus? I'm not familiar with the name. It must be a small village. Uh, Greek, I would venture. Minaxus is close to the Ripperian Cluster. Ripperian Cluster? There's no such place. I know a few hostile Helicians who would disagree with you. The spatulate appearance of your right forefinger, it is similar to that seen in typists, but I would have expected an indentation across your right thumb from the space bar. Too much prodding of large metal creatures. <laughs> this is ludicrous. Before I throw you out, perhaps you might like to explain what your business is with us. I have no business with you. Enough! Get out! But you have business with me. The robbery at the Library of St. John the Beheaded. I presume you will have questioned Mr. Ambrose and received from him a list of recent visitors to the library. My name will be on that list. It is. Splendid. I suggest we pool resources, share information, spread panic, and sow the seeds of defeat in the fields of our enemies. Share information? You are a suspect. Yes, I usually am. But I don't see why that can't be the basis for a long and fruitful relationship. 